yesterday in speaking to us that he would like to box. He has gotten impatient in some of his earlier bouts when trying to get people out of there with punching power. Round one begins, and the excitement at ringside is about Roy Jones stepping into a bigger arena of exposure than has been the case before. He opens with a left hook. And Jim, the one thing I don't like about Percy Harris, and there he's down already. You have to remember that he's only had one fight this year. The first looping right hand caught him right on the temple, and down he went. An almost casually thrown right hand lead by Jones, and Harris appeared never to see it coming. Percy Harris now tries to punch a little bit, starting with the jab. He's been on the floor already as a result of an easy right hand lead. And Jones might have wobbled him a little bit earlier with the left hook to set up that right hand lead, Gil. No, I thought he blocked that punch, uh, Jim. So it's a one punch knockdown in effect. Well, let's see if Jones goes right hand crazy. A lot of young kids with his experience will start really winging that right hand, which is the wrong thing to do. Well, he drops the left hand early, that's for sure. Both hands down around the waist now, and Jones appears to fear nothing from Harris. But he's still moving in boxing rather than storming in and trying to finish the thing right away. You can see the quick hand speed of Roy Jones. I mean, he is dangerous. He has been compared to Ray Leonard for the speed of his combination and his ability to throw punches and bunches. going to the body. Percy Harris motioning Jones to come on in, saying, bring it to me. I don't care what you've got, but Harris is in serious trouble again. And Jones, aping Ray Leonard, throws his gloves in the air before trying to pound Harris back to the canvas. Still a minute and ten to go on the round. Plenty of time if Roy can set up the finish. Uh, Jim, I saw... Percy Harris giving him all blocks, all kinds of trouble, and he's a solid puncher. We're really seeing something tonight in Roy Jones. And we ought to remind everyone that this is the best fighter, really, that Jones has ever fought. It's a step up in class, and he's he's really proving a point here. Well, Harris is totally on Queer Street, now tries to punch his way out of trouble. He hasn't yet tried to grab Jones and wrap him up. Winging punches now a little bit. Obviously, he's in no danger as Harris can't throw a competent Harris is lucky he's standing right now. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Is he on wobbly legs? 